Hi Year 12s, and this is the last video ever for the whole year, probably, maybe, see how. Alright, so we're going to be learning about yield calculations and how to determine the percentage yield and apply percentage yield. Alright, so, yield calculations. Yield can be determined quantitatively, so that's the amount that is produced, by measuring the amount of product that is actually produced versus the amount that was supposed to be produced theoretically. Okay, so the yield is actually equal to the mass of actually produced over the mass theoretically produced times 100. Now, this can also be the number of moles actual over the number of moles theoretical. I have heard of it said somewhere where it's supposed to be only mass, but meh, you can actually do it with number of moles as well. All right, uh, and yeah, there you go. Should be in mass uh, rather than moles, but I'm not sure. Like, I mean, mathematically it's the same. So, here's a question. We're gonna go through the entirety of it. Ha! Huh. Just tricked you. That's okay. Here's one I prepared earlier. So, um, really we're just focusing on this part here, okay? This part here of the yield calculation, okay? Because it does ask you for the overall percentage yield of the process. So what you would do is you would go through the calculation and you would work out the amount of iron, in this case, that is supposed to be created theoretically, okay? And that's the amount that's presented there. Okay, that's the amount that's supposed to be theoretically produced. Okay, then it asks you, it tells you, okay, well, if 5.56 uh, times 10 to the negative 1 tons of this iron is actually produced, what is the overall percentage yield? So they give you the actual here in the question, okay, and then they expect you to work out the theoretical, and then uh, you put those two together in your equation and you get a yield value. Okay, and so that's the actual from the question, that's the theoretical from your calculation, and there's your yield percentage. Okay, um, here's another one. Okay, instead of it uh, asking you to solve for the yield, they have given you the yield at 72%. Since they've given you the yield at 72%, okay, you have to work out uh, how to apply it. So, okay, how to apply that yield. So this is that yield calculation rearranged to show that the work out the number of moles of SO2 actual uh, will be equal to the number of moles of SO2 theoretical times the yield over 100, okay? And then you, that's how you rearrange that yield equation, and then you get that answer there, okay? Now, look, it does say the appropriate number of significant figures, and here, you've only given two significant figures in the 2.2 tons, so you give it two significant figures there, 2.8 times 10 to, the negative, uh, 10 to the 5 liters, okay? So, that's how you use the yield and apply it to a value uh, not just calculate the yield. Okay. This one here is asking you to calculate the percentage yield. Okay, um, here is the calculation. Okay, um, if you're having trouble working out uh, percentages and stuff like that, please come and see me. Okay, because uh, percentages are expected knowledge, but I'll help you out if uh, you have any problems uh, working out percentage stuff. Okay, some of these questions are a bit old, so they have atmospheres in there. Um, one atmosphere is 101.3 kilopascals, but that conversion isn't expected to be known um, anymore. Anyway, so here I've got my 0.83 as the percentage of urea in the impure crystals, okay? Um, always remember to convert between kilograms and grams and stuff like that to make sure that you've got the right things. Um, and then you just solve for the yield because you've, you've been given the actual, you have to do a little bit of calculation for it, and then you've solved for the theoretical, and then you can solve, all right? How many uh, significant figures should you give this answer to? One, if you really had to, right? Because those two values are to one significant figure, right? And if you were asked to give it to the correct significant figures, you could just say it was 90%, even though it is 87.96%, all right? So, uh, yeah, so that is that question there. Um, and then I think I've got one more example. Okay, have a go, pause the video, work it out yourselves, only a four marker. Or you just wait for Mr. Lim to show you the answer. Okay, again, you are given the actual amount. You have to solve for the theoretical amount, and therefore you can work out what the percentage yield is. Okay, and that's it for all the videos. Woo!